Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Turner from cookingwithkimberly.com and tonight I'm going to show you how to make coconut guava smoothies. Delicious. Now I'm using apple guavas tonight. I have two of them and I've just cut them up. The whole entire guava is edible. The skin, the inside, the seeds, everything. Okay, so these guys are ready to go. This one uh, is a little more ripe than the others. So that's a great way to use up fruit that maybe you missed eating just fresh raw. Perfect. All right, so I'm just cutting them into chunks that will fit, you know, kind of easily into the blender and will blend up nicely. So I have two apple guavas that are ripe, okay? In my blender, I have six uh, ice cubes already in there just to keep things um, cold, as well as, you know, a little bit of water. That's always great in there, okay? Uh, guavas are not all that uh, liquidy. Uh, they have a lot of fiber and I've saved, reserved two uh, slices of guava as well as two wedges of lime, okay? And I'm gonna use the juice of a half a lime in here as well. Keeps things nice and bright. Citrus fruit is alkaline, it's good for your body. Get it in whenever you can. And I'm gonna use some coconut milk about a cup and maybe a quarter. All right, we're gonna blend this up until it's nice and smooth. Get yourself some glasses ready. Now in replacement of the coconut milk, you could use any kind of milk you'd like. If you wanna use uh, almond milk or soy milk or hemp milk or you know whatever kind of milk you desire, buttermilk even, whatever you've got, whatever you like, or regular milk, okay? Smoothie style. You may need to stir things halfway through just to make sure everything's moving around. Gorgeous. So we're gonna do a quick taste test to make sure it's sweet enough. You can add a little bit of sugar or brown sugar, agave nectar, honey, whatever kind of sweetener you desire. Oh, that's so good. Mm -hmm. I've added about a tablespoon of sugar. It really just depends on how sweet your fruit is. Some fruit is not as sweet as other fruit, right? And pour it into your glasses. Ooh, that looks good. I love these little seeds in there. That's so fun. It's just the right amount. So I'm just going to follow the line of where the seeds are and I'm going to just slice a tiny little slice from there to the edge so that I can just slide these guys right on the edge as a garnish. And I'm going to do the same thing with the lime, just so that there's kind of continuity. So just cut about the same angle and stick that on the side too. It's nice to have a little extra citrus. Look how nice and thick they are. That straw just stands right up in the center. Isn't that beautiful? Isn't that a gorgeous, maybe even a breakfast smoothie? All right, one goes to mom. There you go, what a gorgeous looking little drink. In fact, you could spike this in the blender, you could put rum with this or even a lychee liqueur or something like that. It would be very, very tasty as well. So, I'm going to get a little bit extra lime in there, just because I like it like that. Guavas are full of antioxidants and vitamin C. Guavas are full of antioxidants and vitamin C, and so is uh, the lime. Yeah, I love garnishes that you can eat. <laughs> mm. Oh, that's very delicious. The coconut is just right. Guava is kind of a mild flavor. It's not very strong and robust. So the coconut just is kind of like a creamy little dreamy friend for the guava. It's delicious. It lets the guava shine through and the coconut. Oh, very tropical. Seeds are wonderful in there. I like real texture in my drinks. I have no problem with uh, pulp and things like that. Delicious, fantastic little smoothie. Wonderful for a pick-me-up. Great for after training or a fitness regimen, whatever you're doing. Um, beautiful stuff. Okay. Mm. This would also be a very delicious smoothie for Mother's Day or a birthday. Surprising someone in the morning with a fantastic smoothie like that. Uh, great for Cinco de Mayo and any kind of summertime get together. Uh, it's nice and cooling and the coconut milk isn't dairy so it's not going to spoil like dairy would or make you feel, you know, funny. Oh, I like that. Also, feel free to add any other kind of fruit into this little concoction. You could add pineapple, you could add pears, you could add Asian pears, you could add whatever kind of citrus fruit you like. Oh, this goes on 
Anyway, that's how you do it, folks. Man, that's delicious. <laughs> that's how you make a coconut guava smoothie. You're gonna love them, okay? Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with the capital E. Like the fan page at facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly, youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. You can find my channel on Roku Cooking with Kimberly, and I'm also syndicated on Apple TV. Come to my website at cookingwithkimberly.com and subscribe. Interact with us and let us know what's going down in your culinary world, all right? Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.